Icons8.com has quickly become one of my favorite tools and tools that I use a lot when I create my apps. And specifically, I use Icons8 for their icons and it is super simple to add one to your app. So from the home page, I've logged into my account so I can access all the links. I search for something like cookie and that search brings up a ton of different icons that are based around cookie or have cookie in the name. So let's say I want to use this one right here inside of my app. So I can click on it and then instead of downloading it then uploading it back to my app or my website, the easiest way that I found to do this is you can come to embed HTML and this will actually give you a link that will import or call that icon into your app. So let me go ahead and copy this HTML snippet right here and I'll show you how to add it in HTML. So this is just a little generic web page and I'm gonna replace this guy, this man with that HTML snippet they gave me, which is a link. And I can run this again and <laughs> oh no, the icon is not showing there. Well, that's actually the coolest part about this is because the icon is there, it's just black right now. And I can change the color to white reload and then there is the icon and I can even change the size to say 150 and now the icon is even bigger. This doesn't only work for HTML because all this is is an image HTML tag wrapped around a uh, URL here. So I can plug this URL into anything. So I can plug it into my web browser and that brings up the PNG there or if you're using a Funkable app like a lot of my subscribers do, you can just plug that into there and then again, it's showing right now, but the color is white. So I can change the color again to say one, two, EF. Five, six, and that gives me that icon now as neon green. So that my friends is the easiest way I have found to add icons to your app or your website using icons8.com. But wait, there's more. So there are a few more things I wanted to add because icons8 is so cool. The first of those being you can pick out like an icon library or style to use for your app and then see all of the different icons that they have that kind of match that style. So I kind of like this Fluent library here. And so here they have all these different icons that kind of map around that theme, having that kind of fluent look and feel. There's some more things you can do to actually edit the icons specifically. Say we pick this one. Well, you have like the base icon, but then over here on the left, there are a few different things that you can do to edit this and create a more customized icon. One thing you might want to do is add like some text to say, hello, and that can add like this actual text here that you can add inside of the image. Or let's cancel that, let's add maybe like background color, you can do that. So add a background color. A few different things, I really don't do this because when you do this, it kind of messes up and you can't really use the link anymore, you have to actually download it. But I just wanted to point that out because because that is something that you can do. So tons of different libraries, you can edit each of these and a few more things to mention from this modal here. So we'll start from the top and work our way down. The first of that is sizes. So a lot of these icons come in different kind of size increments. So some will start with 30, some will start with 48, some 50, some 60. So you just kind of have to have to look out for those if you're trying to resize on the fly inside of the URL. The second thing I'll mention right here is on the URL itself. So all of these follow a format that you should be aware of. The first is the actual kind of domain name, the web CDN for Icons 8 images to grab these. Then you have the library or the group that the icon comes from. Then we have the size, in this case it's 48 pixels, but I could up that to 96 and pull in the icon like we saw earlier. And then we have the color, so this one is black right now, but if we change that to another hexadecimal, we could get another color. And then finally we have the actual icon that we're pulling in. So that's pretty handy if you wanna change something without coming in here to kind of readjust the settings. If you wanna read any more about hacking this URL for your app, you can go to this link here. I'll have that down 
in the description. Now, if you're using your icons for free from Icons8, what they ask you to do is to attribute the icon to them. So if you're using a website, you can plug this HTML snippet somewhere on the web page to attribute the icon back to them. Or if you're creating an app, you can have a separate attributions web page where you attribute uh, everything in your app to where it came from. I see that a lot inside of people's apps. Now, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to this channel, which has recently been changed to Apps with Darren. I wanna teach you how to create apps and not be narrowed down to a single tool. I also wanna be able to share all different kinds of tools with you that are in the app-related genre. So if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, be sure to subscribe. My name is Darren, and I really wanna thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Happy coding.